how difficult that sport is overall. It's not free like a free throw. It's not as hard as basketball, but make <laughs> ease. Here's Russ throwing down an effortless windmill at an open run. Ugh. Clinton, do you think that the New York Fashion Week might have re-energized them? Whoa. Let me ask you this, RJ. Can you throw down a better windmill than that right now? No, I'm 41 years old, I think. Okay. No. Just, just, just making yeah, sure but, we're clear. I mean, but you work out every day. You always showing videos of your yoga and everything. I would think you could still windmill. But look, this is Russ. This is going to be Russ till he's 40. Mm -hmm. He's the most athletic point guard to ever play the game. And to Russ, that wasn't a windmill. That was a little baby ceiling fan, even though it was full extension. But that's not a great windmill to Russ. Quality well, cinematography on the IG work, too. Yes. Good job out of you. Russ has some amazing dunks, and it's time to run it back to Russ's most athletic dunks ever. First up, it's an honorable mention from 2010 oh. because he got fouled, but look at the elevation. This is going to be a problem. Ooh. Oh, this is going to be a problem. Oh. Oh. He got fouled by two dudes in order to make that dunk stop happening. All right, number five, 2011. Russ all oh. alone and finishes with a windmill. Mm. That's 10 out of 10 right there. Oh. You're, the, you're the windmill expert, RJ. Yeah, look, look, I love a long windmill. You know why I like windmills? Because if you did windmills, you knew you were going to be on the top 10. <laughs> and number four in 2015, again on the break, and this time he throws it down reverse. I remember that game, man. I think I had 12 and 10. <laughs> I remember that game. Like, like reverse dunks are lost yeah, art, y'all. I need more reverse dunks in the leg. Yeah, and number three, 2017, he drives and hangs and throws it down over Thon Maker. Whose baby is that? Somebody get that baby out the street. <laughs> oh. He got that little extra hang, too, that you're allowed. That oh. gives you a little, little, little more contact yeah. on the back end where he said, feel me, player. Number two, 2012, KD Russ, Ali Oop versus the Kings. We got a Kings highlight, kind of. <laughs> <laughs> and who said that Kevin Durant and Russell Westbrook couldn't play together? Look at everyone. All is. He brought that thing through with authority. And number one, 2015, catches the lob. And now wait for the replay. Wait. This man hits his head on the backboard. Yo, I forgot about There's that. There's very few of us that have ever done that. I completely forgot about You're that. You're not one of them. That's not true. <laughs> That's not true. You grew up. You had YouTube. You just, just Google it. Perk, you got nothing to say? All right, well, okay, Perk doesn't have anything to say. Let's talk more about Russell Westbrook. The 32-year-old Laker point guard is entering his fourth team season and is playing on his fourth team in four years. After his low start last year with the Wizards, Russ ended up averaging a career high in both rebounds and assists. Now look, take a look. Russell Westbrook has averaged a triple-double in four of the last five seasons. We don't know what offense Frank Vogel is going to roll out, but here this is, Perk. Listen to me. I'll start with you. Is he going to be able to average a triple-double this year? Absolutely not. And I don't care. I don't think he cares if he does have an average or triple double or not. Because look, you just have too much star power. You know, LeBron is going to go out there and give you his 20 plus seven and seven. Anthony Davis is going to go get 10, 10 to 12 rebounds. You got Dwight Howard who's bored. And you, we hear Carmelo yelling when he goes up and get a rebound. So I don't think Russ even cares, but I do think he's going to average a double-double. I think he's going to average about 18 points and 10 assists. I think he's going to do that. But I do have a question to Clint. Yes. So before he gets on the Russell Westbrook point, I just wanted to know why does he has an unsharpened pencil? Hold, that he <laughs> to has make sure you're really paying great. attention. To make, to make was, sure you're paying attention. Listen, okay. this is the whole discussion we had asking. in the back. I was, wow. I was using this as my beta testing to see if I was going to take this on another show, Unsharpened. So I'm glad you brought that up. But let me uh, make a very sharp point to you. He will average a triple-double, but it's just not going to be as robust as you're used to seeing. If you looked at that scoring rate, it's been going down, but he still maintained that triple-double sort of average. I think he can still do that for the Lakers, but we're looking at 11s and 11s across the board. Yeah. We're not looking at like 25 and 10 and 12. That's just not what it's going to be in this offense. And furthermore, 
If he's scoring 25 did you me, points did you a game, just me with a further I absolutely did, RJ. This is why I'm wearing a pencil and glasses at the same time. So listen, if he's averaging 25 <laughs> points a game, I don't think the Lakers are that good at that point. That's not what you want contribution-wise from him in terms of usage rate and in terms of the amount of shots he's going to have to put up to get there. Do I think he can average a triple-double? Yes, but it's going to be a streamlined joint, not necessarily the big, robust one that we're used to seeing. He, there's, there's, and this is no disrespect to Russ, one of the great players, not only of this generation, but of every generation ever. He is not going to even come remotely close because you know LeBron James and his 25 7 and 7. Anthony Davis is yeah. talking about I want to win defensive player of the year. You know what that means you got to do? You got to rebound. Right. You got Rondo out there that's going to be dishing. Bron's trying to dish. So it's just the, the sheer opportunity. But if Russ decides that I want to average 18 7 and 7, that is the going to be the best version. If this Lakers team is completely healthy, I think that's the best version of Russ. Yeah, I do too. I mean, I, I, 18 is a lot for me. I think we're looking at closer to a 10 to 15 range in terms of what you're trying Russ to do. Russ ain't averaging 10. What? Yeah. I just, that's just me. I mean, the All assists right. and the rebounds matter. All right. Well, big thanks to you, Clinton Yates, for joining me. I think Perk is going to still be here when I get back, so that's going to be frustrating. But 